Welcome back to another video. So you're struggling finding the right trade opportunities and entries. In this video, I'm going to share with you exactly how I was able to catch this beautiful 260 pip move on gold. As you know, me and my students were always trading gold and US 30. So I wanted to share with you this video. So if you want to learn how to find these perfect entries and learn my exact strategies, make sure you watch this video to the very end because I'm going to teach you exactly how I was able to catch this exact same move and how you can do this too. All right. So let's just dive right in. Let's not waste any time. Okay. So what did I see? So bef before I even show you what I saw, look at how the market was able to push down exactly as expected. And you can see here, we saw a beautiful move to the downside of over 260 pips. And to be honest, I was only really targeting about 60 pips profit. That was kind of my overall target zone for TP2. And then I had TP3 here at about 90 pips, which was going to be my overall take profit. But at that point, we've already taken partials and already made it a risk free trade. Now, let's move over to another gold chart because I want to show you exactly how you can start doing this yourself. OK, so what I saw, this is where we took the trade. I'm going to replay this and just put this back right over here. OK, and this is what I saw. So obviously, if we go back here and check the time, you can see it's 930 a.m. Let's actually take this back a little bit further here and we're going to go down like that. OK, now what I like to do first, you always want to make sure where you are in the market, right? You want to make sure that you're at a key, at a key level on the higher time frame. You want to focus on just basic market structure. I'll tell you why, because if you focus on trend lines, what tends to happen is that if you let's say, for example, you do a trend line here on the one hour time frame and you just so happen to see that the market does a break here. OK, all you're looking for is for the market to pull back down right on this retest and then you buy it. The problem with this is that what this pullback or this impulse could be is a grab of liquidity before it actually ends up going in the direction it truly wants to go. OK, so keeping that in mind is really, really important for you to understand so that you're successful in your trade. So I didn't look at trend lines in this case. What I focused on was just major areas of structure. And typically, I like to look at these areas on the higher time frames like the four hour, the daily, the weekly the, and so on, even the one hour. Right. So what I did was I noticed that this right here was a beautiful one hour area of resistance, previous level of support. You could see right over here. OK, what I focused on, then I went down to the smaller time frames like the 30 minute and I noticed that the market had given us a clear break of structure right over here. OK, so let's zoom in. So just I'm going to show you exactly what I saw. So I saw here that there was a beautiful break of structure, not only on the 30 minute, but I also noticed this on the 50 minute time frame. So once we had that break of structure in my eyes, I also noticed that we had a what imbalance in the market. Where's the imbalance? I'm going to show you the imbalance right here, the imbalance here. Right, you can see that imbalance here on the 30 minute. So you could you can call this if you want fair value gap or whatever you want to say. I'll just put fair value gap right there and notice that there was an imbalance in the market. Now, typically when there's imbalances, the market tends to fill these imbalances. And basically all it really is is just the market had a massive impulse and there's like an imbalance in the fact that the market most likely tends to fill it right it tends to go back right it's kind of like grabbing an elastic band and stretching it it's most likely going to go back into its place before it ends up breaking or doing whatever it's going to do right so for the most part that the market tends to have moves like this where the market gives us an impulse move right gives us a nice retest right filling the imbalance right here that it left to then continue its continuation structure to the downside in this case right this is what we were anticipating over here okay so in my eyes i wanted to wait for the market to actually come up a little bit higher up until this kind of zone here where is my kind of my main level structure okay so my eyes was i noticed that the market gave us a break of structure there was an imbalance in the market but i was waiting for the market market to tap into my zone here for the market to then continue to go down further so that's what i did so i waited for the market to come up into my zone i set an alert up here okay and let's just try and see where we're at let's go down to the 15 minute you can see a lot more cleaner you have a clear break of structure fair value gap okay and then not only that i also saw a five minute order block right over here okay and the higher the the sorry 15 minute order block the higher the time frame the better it is so obviously there was a 15 minute order block right over here and a five minute order block over here as well. OK, so that was an extra confirmation that most likely the market was going to reject this level. And what did we see? We saw it already reject because here we could have entered here as well, which is 820. That's where I originally entered, actually. And I held it and I put my stop loss just at about 40 pips. OK, and my obviously actually my first stop loss was actually 35 pips. And my TP one was actually I believe it was like 20 pips. Either way, I, my, I was targeting these lows over here, which is about, like I said, about almost 80 pips or so. OK, 
And that's literally all I did. And if we actually play this out, just so you can see, okay, I kept it clean, guys. That's all you want to do. You don't want to overthink things and actually, you know, worry about, oh, like do this and the indicator and that. No, like I have the indicators. That's cool. Like, you know what I mean? That's cool. Like the indicators above price. So I'm mainly looking for sales. Even on the 30 minute price was below the, it does give you a little bit more of a glimpse as to what direction the market's going, but don't put all your, cause if you go on the five minute, look at this five minutes, like all over, like the, the EMA is just kind of in the middle, right? So you have to keep that in mind that don't put your full trust on indicators, right? What you want to focus on is just clean price action. And if I actually clear this off, when you just look at price action, you're understanding, okay, you know what? There's a break to the downside. So that's where the, the direction the market wants to go. There's an imbalance in the market. So the market's most likely going to put, pull back into that imbalance. And there's an area of structure right up here. Okay. So most likely appear to this area and give us a nice rejection. So in this case, there could have been a second entry, which I would have waited kind of around this zone up here as high as possible or as close as possible to that major area of structure. That's where you want to be getting in, right? So if we actually play this out and see what happens, let's kind of play this out. This is on the five minute time frame, by the way and you could see the market gave us a nice entry right there so this would have been a beautiful entry right here i would have entered positions just about there why market has taken liquidity as well so you can see that this is all liquidity here at these highs up here market took the liquidity we knew it was most likely going to continue to go down further and here is where I would have re-entered positions here to the downside. So let's see what happens here. And as you can see, market ended up rejecting the zone. Perfect. Right now, at this point, I would have moved my stop loss to entry. Okay. Make it officially a risk-free trade. And I would have, and like I originally was targeting, I was targeting these lows right over here. Okay. The market tends to go from area to area and you always have to kind of keep that in the back of your mind. Okay. So let's play this out and see what happened. As you can see, take profit smashed. And yeah, like... Honestly, guys, I'll be honest. I didn't anticipate the market to actually drop that much. I knew that there was like the market was going to most likely respect this area because we were still if we go up to the higher time frames, we were still, you know, in this downwards trend right on the one hour. You could see that we were creating lower highs, lower lows, lower highs. Right. Let me zoom in here. Lower highs, right? Lower lows, lower highs, lower low. Right. So but some people might say, oh, well, you know what? There's this huge over here and we're like, this is a big impulse area of demand. Yeah, of course, it never really touched that zone. So I was still anticipating price to come here and tap into this one hour order block over here, right? Which was an area of demand. So we didn't see that, right? So either way, in my mind, I'm like, well, this is perfect because the market's still telling us we're breaking down to the downside, creating lower lows. We pull back and there's a higher probability that the market's going to continue its move down right? Maybe into this one hour order block or even deeper, right? And so when you have that in the back of your mind, you start realizing that the market tends to give you clues as to kind of what direction it wants to go. And that's how we're able to catch these trade opportunities, keeping it super clean, not focusing on any special indicator, not focusing on overcomplicating things, just understanding that there's a break of structure, there's an imbalance in the market, and the market pulls back into that area, giving us a nice rejection, taking its liquidity, and then heading to the downside, right? Now, why did it take liquidity and the market pulled back on the five minute time frame and on the 15 minute time frame? Because the market needs fuel in order for it to continue to go in the direction it wants to go. Just think of it as that way. The market literally had to grab this liquidity over here. Okay. Okay. Right over here. So there's a higher probability. And this is an area of structure around this zone here. Okay. On the higher time frame. So now we know that most likely there's a higher probability the market's going to reject this area. And Hence, that's what happened. We saw that beautiful move to the downside. Okay, guys, if you enjoy these types of videos, these breakdown videos, let me know in the comment section below. If you want to see more videos like these, let me know. And if you want to trade live with me and my students, we trade these exact simple trades every single day, guys. And if you want to learn and earn at the same time, make sure you click the link in the video description below and join my BAP Inner Circle. Right now, we have a current promotion going on take advantage of that promotion before it's gone because prices will be increasing. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you with all honesty, if you are serious about trading and that's my best advice is make sure you get the right information. And when you're around the right people, you're getting the right information, you're studying and you're staying focused and you're being disciplined every single day, sooner or later, you will get the results you're hoping for. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. God bless you. And I'll see you guys in the next one.